And welcome back, guys. We're here with another segment of Gay Lesbian Otaku Time. Woo! And we're just gonna be answering more Valentine's Day related questions. What was the next question? We were on 32. 30. Yeah. 32. Have you ever been in an abusive relationship? Aside from emotionally abusive? No. I got treated like crap. Yeah. Ooh. Wait, why don't I start off a video? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you want to get married one day? I want to have one of those big ass glamorous sudden holy huge weddings. I am a princess. Right, so. <laughs> <laughs> As for me, I think not until like I really feel that I'm ready. Of course marriage is nice to think about, but right now it's not really in my mind, you know? It would be nice, just what I'm trying to say. What do you think about getting your partner's name tattooed? Okay, I am actually totally against this and I will not get any name tattooed. I hate it when people tattoo names because there are so much shit that can always happen. It's like a curse. Swear to God, it's just bad juju. No, don't do this, people. Bad juju. They're talking to me. Bad juju. So don't, <laughs> no, bad don't juju. do this. <laughs> no, <But> no. <laughs> I have to agree. Like, name tattoos, I think, are really stupid. What if you get, like, your wife's like baby's name and you guys haven't been married and then you find out she cheated on you and it's not really your baby. Oh, true. I, I'm more I don't okay if it. it's someone's dead. Yeah. Someone who is dead. Because if someone if passed on, it's okay. Could you be in a relationship without sex? I could. Yeah, me too. Are you still a virgin? <laughs> nope. Guess. Shut up, I just, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> What's more important, looks or personality? Let's personality. Say, I was gonna say, let's say it together. I'm sorry, it's personality. I'm so sorry. We're that gay, we're that out of sync. <laughs> Do you enjoy love films? No, I, I, I teenage if you movie. ask me. I will say no. The real honest truth. I'm so addicted to this crap. I do watch them like with friends and whatnot. Shut but... up, you're watching them with me. Yeah, but um you can't if I like into I don't it. shut up, let me talk. <laughs> I get into them like obviously. I don't know, I always feel like wanting to like make out after. Ninety percent of the time it's someone I can't make out with. I'm usually sitting there like, oh my god, what just happened? Is it what happened? Have you ever given anyone slash received roses? Yes I have. I've given both. For me. Have you ever had a valentine? Yes. yes. Wait, what do you mean like you had like someone who you wanted to be a valentine? No, or you, someone like, who is a valentine. Or like, like who wanted to be like a valentine back. Like will you be yeah. on a valentine? Oh, like, no. My love life sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so we have his love life which is like a mess apparently and mine. What's your imagination of a perfect date? Okay, I know a lot of people don't agree with me on this one, but I love going to the movies. I love, love movies. Pass the popcorn. <laughs> I love horror films, and I know that sounds bizarre. <laughs> He's a dick. Because <laughs> you are what you eat, right? That makes me a pussy. <laughs> and then, like, a dinner. Like, not anywhere too fancy, because I hate most fancy restaurants, honestly. I'm okay with McDonald's. I love fast food. You loving it and you're loving her? <laughs> My definition of a perfect date. Hmm. Oh, and candy. There just has to be somehow involved. It was candy. my time to shot. Shut up! I have to add that! <laughs> I just wanna like sit down with my significant other, maybe like over like coffee or something. Significant? And significant. I'm sick! <laughs> have like small talk and then maybe we can just like take a walk like around town. You know like a little like a little shopping area, just look around and then maybe I'm gonna like walk in the park, just like watch things go by. That's I don't know. I'm not like much of a one like, let's go here, let's go there, let's do this. You know, I'm just like, me. <laughs> I'm just like I want to enjoy like the moment together, and not really have things like distracting. You know? Have you ever read Romeo and Juliet? It's yes, a fucking I've high had school to, play. Like, you have to. Eighty seven times, and I hate it. I was of Juliet how actually. Much I've had to read that thing. What's more important, your partner or your friends? Oh, that's a that's, little that's, too that's a hard. little too hard. We had a rule like if you like if you were in a relationship with someone, they had to be our friends too because you know we can't have like people going off, you know, like basically separating themselves either from their friends or from their significant other. So that's why like if I'm with someone, I want them to be friends with like my, my friends. friends. So yeah. we won't have this problem. Like yeah, we have our alone time. You get it. Right? 
<laughs> Sorry. You get it. You get, <laughs> yeah, you it. get it. We get it. Would you consider yourself romantic? I am. I am. I'm a hopeless romantic, so help me God. I've always tried to be like really romantic. I want them to feel like happy with me because I'm so happy with them. I want them to feel the way I feel. Or I want to make them like have a sense of the happiness I feel when I'm with them. Could you imagine to date one of your current friends? Yeah, I tend to actually date my friends. Isn't a relationship <laughs> just like dating your best friend? Kind of. I kinda, well, no. I kind of want my relationship to be like that. I would never date my best friend. Oh, true. Because that's my best butch and I love her to death. Yeah, you kind of get what I mean by that, you know? It's not like I'm saying like I date my straight friend, like, you know, because he's a bro or whatever. But I meant someone like I can you know, really relate to. We could just talk or just do regular things like regular people, like we're just friends, but we're, you know, we're together. Have you ever been friend zoned? Oh, no. What? No. I've never been friend zoned. Fuck, I have. Like, <laughs> everyone times. who I dated, I originally scoped out and it was like, you're my next girlfriend. And guess what? They were my next girlfriend. Just read the next question. <laughs> I've never been friends, though. Which famous couple is your favorite? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I honestly. watch anime. Do fictional characters count in any This sense? is gay and lesbian otaku <laughs> time. It counts. <laughs> Alright, let me choose. Let me choose. Okay. Flufflepuff and Chrysalis. Yes! <laughs> yes! That's <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> They're so cute together. I ship that. <laughs> Have you ever broken someone's heart? I wouldn't really know. I don't know, maybe, I, I guess. Do people tell if, you if you do? This is a question like, for me. If you're single, why do you think you are? Because I'm out of this one. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're out. Not. Get out of here. <laughs> I really don't know. I've been like, it's kind of annoying, but I've been told like, you're a good person. Like, you have such a big personality, blah, blah, blah. You'll find someone. I'm like, well, <laughs> <laughs> most of the time, like, I'm not exactly looking for like a relationship with someone because I'm too scared like to ruin things before they even start. That's why like I do have like a lot of crushes unfortunately. I'm always afraid to like establish connection because I think most of me is just insecure about being hurt the way I was, you know, with my past relationships. I don't know, I'm just I'm kinda like just scared to love again. You know. Maybe that's why I'm single and just that's maybe that's what I need to work on. Are you jealous of couples when you're single? Yeah, yeah, I honestly kind of am. Kind of am. What inspires you to make relationships official, like, on Facebook? Oh, I said, how important is it? Oh, how important? Very important, because I can't remember anything. I don't really see it as a big deal. Like, if my, my other wants it, then I'll do it. But if he's like, no, I just want to keep it on download, that's, that's fine with me, you know? I don't give a shit about changing my like status, you know? Like, I sometimes I won't put their name in it, but I'll just say, is in a relationship. Oh, that because, works too, yeah. like I said, I need to remember these things somehow, and... And you don't want, want people hitting on you. Well, who who the fuck ever, like, yeah. reads your profile first before hitting on you? Like, fucking ever. No one. Really? Well, that really? happens with me. Okay. A lot of my Instagram. <laughs> I fucking put, like... <laughs> Like, hashtag gay, hashtag insta-gay, hashtag no hetero. I still get fucking girls who like, <laughs> That's funny. They all need a choke on my dick. Well, oh, but they like that. <laughs> I bet, I bet, uh, Wrong. They just, they just need to, like, get hit by a truck. Would you consider yourself clingy, over-attached, or jealous? Yes! I'm very clingy. I am so fucking clingy. And I know it. And I embrace it, and so help me God, it's gonna be the first thing you know about me if you ever date me. For me, maybe I'm jealous. I have to say I'm jealous. So clingy. Are you the dominant or the submissive part in a relationship? That really depends on who I'm with. Mm -hmm. And the one I'm currently right now in, we really don't have that. I would say she is a little bit more dominant in a way. But so am I in a way. <laughs> I guess I'm mainly submissive, but I'll be dominant when I have to, and it usually happens a lot. You know, it, like I said, like well, not like I said, like you said, it just depends who you're with. Have you ever I forgotten? That really works in the I was reading the question. Shut up! 
<laughs> Have you ever forgotten important dates like your partner's birthday or your anniversary? A lot. I have forgotten my own birthday on several occasions. Does it look like I'm jacking off in the corner? <laughs> What's your opinion on open relationships? No. That's my opinion. It's just no. 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 I don't. I have to second notion that. Yay, nay, wait. Yay to that. You don't want to be like dating one person who's like dating other people, you know, at the same time. That just. That's wrong. You know, that's wrong in my opinion. I want to be the center of attention. If I have to fight for attention, something is wrong. Mm hmm. And plus, like I said, I'm kind of a jealous type and I kind of make things like, well, maybe it's. I'm not good enough. You know, that, that's the whole thing I feel. What's more important, your partner or your family? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, family, but my partner. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I chose her. You guys kind of just got stuck with me and will obviously forget me a lot. Um, there's a lot to compete with in my family. Like, I have a huge family. By that, I don't mean siblings. I mean cousins. But my family kind of just collaborated all together. And um, it's kind of easy to get forgotten in that thing. So I have to say my partner. I was making funny faces. <laughs> um, I've been messing around with the panda the entire yeah, time. Yeah, you were. To do that. Well, for <laughs> me, I think, well, I don't have a partner, first of all, obviously. And um, if I did, I would have to say I would have to balance it out. Of course, my partner is important to me. Like I would like love him. Okay, if someone's burning in a fire. Who do you say? Oh my god. Fuck you. <laughs> How do you define cheating? Okay. All right. This is how. Get ready for Obviously, <laughs> sex. Sex is clearly cheating. Do not, if you're in a relationship, have sex with someone else. No. Unless you kind of got an okay, then you're in a weird open relationship. We already said we oh, yeah. don't like those though. Or kissing. Because, yeah. honestly, that is. But there are like occasions when you can forgive someone for doing that. But it's still technically cheating. cheating. Yeah. So there's you. And then it's your girlfriend or boyfriend, depending. And then there's the other person. Now, if the other person thinks they're in a relationship with your girlfriend or boyfriend and your girlfriend and boyfriend does not make it very, very obvious that no, they're not, I kind of consider that cheating. Or if you tell your boyfriend or girlfriend that that's not okay, whatever they did, whether it be hugging or something, and they if, do they, it anyway. if they still keep on doing it, it's kind of cheating. Listen to your other partner. That's the only way you're going to get along. They're llamas. I kind of feel like she kind of said everything I needed to say. But what would you consider, like, not cheating? We talked about this earlier, remember? Oh, well, like, <laughs> hugging your friends and things like yeah. that. Yeah. Clearly not cheating. So don't get over-obsessive when your friend hugs your friend. Yeah, that's that's well, kind of actually, it, well, unless they're starting to get a little bit weird. Yeah, if it's like a, those, you know, those, those kind of hugs, which is yeah. like... But, like, if you're hugging your friends or if you're touching a lot, I, I can kind of, because, like, I do that with my friends. Yeah. I'm a very touchy person. By definition, I like well, hugs. Well, when were you gay, lesbian? You're kind of love giving hugs and being kind of touchy. I don't know, not all, because my girlfriend definitely does not want to be touched by anyone that she doesn't know very well. Yep, so I love that. She's dating the wrong person. <laughs> which, <laughs> I got through her bubble. <laughs> That's why I'm dating her. Is watching porn while being in a relationship inappropriate? No, no. You can watch porn. It's porn. They're never gonna meet the person. They don't know who this person is. They're watching a goddamn screen. On the other hand, I don't watch porn at all. <laughs> He's clean. <laughs> I agree. Girl. I'm part of the fangirls, the yellow girl. Fangirls. You think I'm clean? Do you think Valentine's Day is overrated? No. Yes. No. Yes. Because honestly, even if I'm single, I'm going to give presents to my friends. And will you stop that? My hands are important. <laughs> Even if I'm single, I'm going to give presents to my friends and my family because it's a day of love and to love people and go out and love and have love and be loved and give food to people. I want chocolates. I wouldn't say it's overrated exactly. It's overmarketed. That's why I, I don't, don't care. Like I get food. Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> I think it's just like pushed on us with over advertising that we have to buy something for a significant other, which most of the time we don't, you know, because we're single or whatever. Because like you, I bought shit for my friends and you need to cut that shit out. <laughs> Would you consider yourself a cuddler? Fuck Big yeah. Time. <laughs> I love cuddling. I like cuddles. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that was the last question. That's the last one. And 
<laughs> How about like last question? What are you gonna do about Fa <laughs> What are you gonna do for Valentine's Day? Oh, okay. We're gonna go see a movie. We don't know yet. I don't know yet. No one knows yet. But I'm gonna make her chocolates in her favorite in the shape of her favorite character. We're gonna do a video of us making chocolates. I'm determined to do it. Uh, I'm probably gonna get her like cute gift, and then I get to give her all of the drawings I made her for Valentine's Day. And then uh, we're gonna go out to eat, and then we're just gonna spend the day. And then we're gonna go back to my place, and we're gonna watch Korean soap operas. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and sit on the couch and eat ice cream and in our PJs. In the ice cream. <laughs> and maybe fuck. I don't really care about sex. Thank you. Okay. So I maybe like know. really sexual and weirdo. But I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't really require sex. sex. Quite frankly, I am happy sitting on a couch with ice cream. And fuck. <laughs> don't listen to him. Do you want to hear about my plans? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what plans? Well, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go to She's school. Still in school. And I still technically have college. Yeah, we're college. It would be nice to like just go and like on a casual date with someone. You know, it doesn't have to be like to the extreme. You know. Or you can always go with your friends too. Make a sad day out of it. Single awareness day. So. True, true. <laughs> but you know, I would actually like like to. Go on a date with someone. Like, and honestly, in all my relationships, I haven't been on like an actual date. You've never been on a date? No. What the hell? Isn't that sad? Just I'm just fucking date. sad when it comes to love. I suck. Anybody interested? <laughs> no, no, no. Date no. him. I have a date me shirt. You want to wear it around school? It's How about pink. a fuck me shirt? <laughs> no. Thank you guys for watching. I hope. <laughs> I hope your Valentine's Day is going to be great and full of love. If not, if you're single like me, then, you know, just pout like me. And if you are in a relationship, do something nice for them. Show them that you love them and go out on a date and have fun and stop being a mopey moop. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys in the next gay otaku time, which is most likely going to happen, right? Yeah, dude, yeah, I'm keeping these going. Clean. Mm -hmm. Wait, help me make the heart so you can finish it. And goodbye. Bye.